Oh, praise God. Sister Ruth, God bless you. Sister Shireen, God bless you. So glad you're with us tonight. Praise God. Sister Maxine, God bless you. Mm. Sister Olivia Harewood, God bless you. Yes, we give God praise that we can gather tonight. So thankful for his goodness and his love. I would like to welcome you to our midweek service. Friends, we are going to have a wonderful time in the presence of our God tonight. Would somebody say amen? Praise God. We are on Facebook and we are on YouTube. Welcome to our service. Sister Bonita, God bless you. Sister Cheryl Williams, God bless you. Sister God bless you. Good night. Oh, praise God. Sister Shireen, God bless you and the family. Sister Claire Graham, God bless you. Sister Powers, God bless you. Yes, yeah, Sister Beulah, God bless you. Oh, we worship him tonight. Rain down, oh God. Rain down in this place. Oh, we give him praise. We give him praise tonight. Mm -hmm. Sister Mary Rice, God bless you. Oh, praise God. Yes, Sister Bonita, our God reigns. Oh, praise his name. Winston Rayson, God bless you, my brother. Yes, we worship him tonight. Rain down, Lord. Rain down. Rain down. Rain down. Oh, Sister Leslie, God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. Rain down. Rain down. Sister Hyson, here, God bless you, Sister Hyson. I welcome each and every one of you to our service tonight. Sister Ann Edwards, God bless you. I want you to know, friends, that we are in for a treat tonight. There is a word that the Lord has for his people. I'll be sharing some testimonies with you. God is working in a wonderful way. Sister Wilma Arthur, God bless you. Sister Shanti, God bless you. Sister Rosie, God bless you. Yes, 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 yes. All right, Duchess Sister Elizabeth will be remembering you in prayer tonight. Sister Patricia Thomas, God bless you. So glad that everyone is coming on tonight. Praise God. Yes, I was away last week, but thank God. I want to thank God. The work continued, and I am looking forward to sharing with you tonight and praying with you. Sister Anastasia, we'll be remembering you in prayer tonight as you deal with this tragedy in Trinidad. Praise God. Friends, God the Holy Spirit is here. Whatever your needs are tonight, I want you to know he is more than able to supply your every, every need. Let the church say amen. Sister Mary, God bless you. Sister Avril, God bless you. Oh, we worship him tonight. We worship him tonight. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for what's happening here tonight. Oh, we praise your name. Sister Chanel Huggins, God bless you. Sister Anne Marie McWilliams, God bless you. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, we invite you. Come, Holy Spirit of God, and do what you alone can do. Break up the fallow ground. Speak to our hearts tonight. I pray that you will comfort those who are hurting. I pray that healing will take place for the wounded and hurt. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will speak even through this vessel of clay. Be magnified, O oh God. Be magnified. In all that will transpire tonight, we give to you the highest praise in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone says, Amen and Amen. Sister Manny, God bless you. Jerome Gonzalez, all the way in Barbados, God bless you, my brother. God bless you tonight. Oh, we praise his name. Sister Tracy, Minister Tracy, God bless you. No air has heard, it's the last one. But God has in store, open heaven, open over our church and over our lives. We give you praise, we give you praise. Oh, we bless his name tonight. Sister Ann Edwards, God bless you. Oh, come and pray. I'll be here again. Sister Dawn Lynch. God bless you, Sister Dawn. So glad you're with us tonight. Holy Spirit of God, how we need your help tonight. Uh, Sister Sharon Raphael, all the way in Trinidad and Tobago. God bless you, Sister Sharon. Sister Anderson, God bless you in beautiful Georgia. Oh, praise God. God bless you, Sister Cheryl. No eye hath seen, no ear hath heard. We give you praise, Sister Alcott. God bless you. No mind can know what. Oh, praise God. Yes, Lord. Open over your chair. Sister Lynette Lewis. God bless you, Sister Lynette. So glad you're on tonight. We worship him, everybody. We worship our God. Great is our God. And greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. How we need Sister Patricia Hastings, God bless you. We give him praise tonight. Praise. Sister Barbara Drysdale, Sister Amarin Frederick, God bless you. Let your voice come and change as we stand on your word. Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God. It's not by might nor by power, but it's by the Spirit of the living God. Your power. Let your voice come and change 
as we stand on your word. Oh, we give him praise. Praise Oh, we give him praise tonight. We give him praise tonight. Sister Marie Miller, God bless you. Evangelist Dunn, God bless you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, we praise him tonight. We bless and exalt his name. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Oh, praise be to God, everyone. Our God reigns. He is with us on this broadcast tonight to encourage you to empower. Lord, just rain down tonight. Rain down. Oh, yeah. Rain down. Rain down. Rain down. Rain down, Lord. Just rain down. Rain down. Rain down. Rain down. I pray that God's rain will fall and meet you right where you are. I pray for change. We pray for transformation. We are believing God for miracles. Miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right where you are. Believe God for change. I'm believing God for change. Your situation will improve in the mighty name of Jesus. Things will get better. Can you receive that tonight? Can you believe that tonight? I said things will get better. And the church says, oh, praise be to God. Tonight, friends, as we prepare to go forward, Sister Michelle Ennis, God bless you. As we prepare to go forward tonight, our focus is on the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 2 and verse 27, Sister Ingrid Morgan, God bless you. God bless you. Sister Sherry, God bless you. Yes, Sister Michelle, God bless you. Praise God, Sister Ingrid. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 27, the Bible says, But the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you. And you need not that any man teach you. Now hear the word. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things and is truth, and is no lie and even as it has taught you ye shall abide in him oh we're talking about the ministry of the holy spirit god has provided help for his church for his people friends we have a helper can somebody say amen you're not alone. I said you're coming through this. God is on your side. He will make a way for you. Sister Olivia Bowen, God bless you. Let me share another scripture with you. Romans chapter 8 
reading verses 26 and verses 27 and verse 27. Hear what the Bible says. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Oh, my friends, we're going to stop right there. Amen. I want you to know God, the Holy Spirit, has been given to the church to help us. You have help tonight. You're not alone tonight. Amen. So many of you are in a battle, but you're not alone. God is with you. God, the Holy Spirit, is with you. Sister Erlen Bain, God bless you. Sister Audrey, God bless you. Praise God. And so we're getting ready to go forward. I am going to share with you some testimonies. And these are coming from believers that were prayed for. Do you know that New Hope Family Worship Center is a place where healing is common? There are some places that are known for some things. I want you to know that at New Hope, healing, miracles, it is common. It is happening all the time. Sister Sharonette Foster, God bless you. Sister Sheila Paul, God bless you. Brother Hawk, God bless you, my brother. Such a joy to see you on Sunday and the entire family. Praise God. I want to share with you some testimonies tonight. Is that okay? So let me quickly go to that. Hear some testimonies tonight of what God has been doing among us. We gather on a Wednesday evening as a family and we pray. Tonight you will hear me pray for about an hour and a half mentioning different needs. It's a wonderful time to join your faith with mine as we believe God. So I want to share with you first a testimony from the Donnelly family. Hear this testimony. The Donnelly family wishes to thank Pastor Graham and all at New Hope for praying for Stephen Donnelly. Stephen and family came on a well-planned vacation and he fell ill. Thank God for your prayers. The open heart surgery was successful and he is feeling better. Thank you all for praying. Thank you, God, for giving Stephen his life back. And this comes from St. Lucia. Oh, praise God. Can you believe that our broadcast reaches into St. Lucia? As a matter of fact, if we have any St. Lucians, on the line tonight, I want you to just put your flag next to your name. Amen? As a matter of fact, if you're listening in a foreign country, if you're outside of the United States of America, just put your flag next to your name so we can celebrate you, recognize you. Amen? Second testimony. Second testimony. Listen to this. Good evening, Pastor Graham and New Hope family. Thank you for praying for Harold, he was doing so good, but he suffered a stroke. He was airlifted to the hospital last night. Thank you for praying for him. We are waiting for MRI tests, etc., to come back. Thanks for praying the Scott family in Missouri. All right, so we are going to remember to pray uh, for Harold tonight, we are lifted to hospital, and uh, we are going to remember the Scott family, and they are in Missouri. I want to thank God. I got a call this morning 
yesterday morning, someone that is online tonight uh, could not go to work because blood pressure, their blood pressure was very high. Well, I prayed with them and I got a call back this morning and the person said, Pastor, I just want to share with you what happened after you prayed. And she proceeded to tell me how after I prayed, she checked her blood pressure again and the levels went down. My friends, God, the Holy Spirit is at work. And I want to thank God that he still hears and answers prayer. That person was able to go to work today and is on the line tonight. My friends, there is nothing that is too hard for our God. Can somebody say amen? Praise God. All right. Praise God. Let me just get something to do. All right. Our, we have a special cord. Okay. Special cord that we use for the internet. We actually hardwire so that, uh, we don't have any disruptions or interruptions, but um, that court came out. But thank God we we're able to put it back in. And so, friends, God, the Holy Spirit is at work, and he is at work tonight. And if you give him the opportunity, he will work in your life and in your situation. Can somebody say amen? All right. want to share one other thing with you quickly, and then we are going to pray I want to thank God for our daughter, Amara, today, that I would like to share with you. I declare that today is Worship Wednesday. The songwriter shares, all things are possible when we believe. Old chains are breakable when we receive. Yahweh, you keep your promises. If you said it, we believe it. You are a man of your word. We have this confidence. You will finish what you started. Praise God. God, you have never failed. You won't start with me. You are present in every step, patient in every heartache. God, you have never failed. You won't start with me. If you said it, we believe it. You are a man of your word. <laughs> As you embark upon today, I encourage you to shake off the midweek weight and turn up your praise as you reflect on the many prayers answered and the multitude of ways God has stood by his word. May joy fill your heart and may love be the lens and language that you view and share with others as you go through. Amen. Praise God. May joy fill your heart and may love be the lens and language that you view and share with others through. Amen. Thank you, Amara. You are doing a wonderful job and we celebrate all that God continues to do through you. Can somebody say amen? Praise God. Well, friends, we thank God that he is at work. I said God is at work. He's at work in this world. He's at work in our hearts and in our lives. And thank you, Amara. At the end of our service tonight, Sister Amaran will post it for us. God bless you, Sister Amaran, and thank you for all that you do. Praise God. Well, friends, I've shared with you the testimonies. I've shared with you the devotional from Amara. We are preparing to go to prayer. And as we pray tonight, I want to ask you to agree with me. Why do I ask you to agree with me? Well, because the Bible says if two shall agree as touching anything, it will be done. So God believes in community. Amen. God believes in community. 
And I thank God for the community of New Hope. God believes in community. And tonight we pray in community. I'm going to pray for you. And I hope you're praying for me. Amen. I'm going to call the names of different people. As a matter of fact, hundreds. And my friends, I know that as we pray and believe, God works. Sister Tony, God bless you. Praise God. I want to say it publicly. Uh, thanks to Assistant Pastor Candy and Minister Tracy for the excellent work they did last week in hosting uh, this broadcast. This broadcast goes all over the world. And so I need to say thank you to them and to everyone that assisted in my absence. As you know, my wife and I uh, and family and three children, uh, we took a cruise. We were celebrating 32 years of marriage, 32 years. And I know many of you, when you look at Sister Les, you say, but Sister Les, you look like 31. <laughs> How could you be married for 32 years? Well, God preserves, amen? And I'm so glad that God keeps. And can I say to you, friends, that when God is in it, there is absolutely no limit. God can keep your marriage. Can somebody say amen? I said, God can keep your marriage. God can bless your relationships. Do you believe that tonight? In spite of the challenges that will come, will there be challenges? Oh, yes, there will be. But I want you to know, God is able. So we trust him and we depend on him and we celebrate him. And now, praise God, Sister Dawn. And now we're getting ready to go to prayer. And I put on my glasses because these names are so tiny. Can you see those names? <laughs> now, in the past, it was about uh, eight pages of names. But now there are three different rows on each page. If, if, if each row represents a page. <laughs> Friends, there are 11 pages. I'll see how far I get. I don't know if I'll get to everyone tonight, but um, we're going to pray. Amen? So as we go to prayer tonight, I want you to remember Assistant Pastor Anthony Bryant. Uh, Assistant Pastor Bryant lost his brother, Reggie Hodge, and that happened last week. So we want to remember him. Let's remember him in our prayer. Sister Anne Chase lost a brother in Trinidad. That brother was shot and died in Trinidad. So we want to remember uh, Sister Ann Chase. Sister Barbara Drysdale, uh, she lost her sister in Jamaica, Crystal. So there are families that are grieving tonight. So let us remember them first as we go to prayer, amen? Father, we give you praise, honor, and glory. You are on our side. You are working on our behalf. And we thank you tonight that we find comfort in you. We lift Assistant Pastor Bryant. We lift uh, Sister Ann Chase. We lift Sister Barbara Drysdale. And everyone else that is dealing with the loss of a loved one. Father, we pray tonight for your intervention. Father, I thank you that you are more than able tonight to do the exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask, think, or imagine. We think of the Bentnick family. Tonight they are grieving because Lyndon Bentnick has transitioned. Lord, we also remember Marlon Belgrave, this technician, Verizon technician, who crashed his car into two cars and is now tonight is in Brookdale Hospital with a stroke. Father God, remember this young man, remember his family. Lord God, for those who have lost loved ones, remember them tonight. We cannot begin to imagine, Lord, how they must feel. But Lord, you know. Remember Sister Barbara grieving over the loss of a sister that she loved. Sister Anne Chase grieving over a brother that she loved. Oh, Father Anthony Bryant, Pastor Anthony Bryant, grieving over a brother that he has loved. So Lord, remember these families, remember them. We pray that God, the Holy Spirit, will comfort their hearts. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you for the great work you have done and the great work you will continue to do. Remember tonight, Stephen Donnelly. Thank you for the successful surgery. Thank you for the praise report. Continue, Lord, to work in his life and situation. I want to ask everyone to agree with me tonight for Ayo Dada. Ayo Dada is from Africa, and tonight he is hospitalized. He is the father of Caleb, and Caleb is a precious child in our assembly. And, and so, Father, tonight we lift Ayo or Ayo Dada, and we pray, oh God, for you, your intervention. We pray tonight that you will touch his body. We pray for healing. We rebuke sickle cell and all the effects of sickle cell. And Lord God, we are praying for the manifestation of your power in his life and situation. Bring him out, oh God, at that hospital. Raise him up. Do a special work tonight. We agree in prayer, oh God. You are able to do it. And I, I want you to agree with me in prayer for Sister Elizabeth Powers. Sister Elizabeth Powers. She's online today, but she's not feeling well. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask, oh God, for your touch upon Sister Elizabeth Powers. We rebuke the spirit of sickness, the spirit of infirmity. We rebuke it. And in the name of Jesus, we pray, Heavenly Father, that you will manifest healing power in her life and body and situation. Remember LaShawn Porter tonight hospitalized with diabetes. Bishop Russell, he has had to have his leg amputated. Remember the Red Fern Houses, six shootings in the past week. Oh God, may your Holy Spirit rest. May the Spirit of Peace rest upon the Red Fern Houses. Remember tonight, Marquis Lynch. Thank you, Lord God, for the progress that Marquis is making. And Lord, we pray for his dear mother, uh, Sister Tony, and her husband, and their son. And we pray, Lord, continue to intervene. I pray that there will be no lasting effects from this stroke that Marquis has endured. Remember tonight, Brother Winston, who is in rehab, Dennis Spivey, recovering from heart surgery. Remember tonight, Anita, who has surgery coming up. Remember Sister Paul Sapa. She has surgery tomorrow. Can you agree with me, everybody? Lord God, guide the hands of the surgeons. We pray, Heavenly Father, for your continued guidance of Sister Olsa. We thank you, Lord, for the grace that you have extended to her. And now we pray in the name of Jesus for a successful surgery. Remember Carmel, Carmela Welch. We pray, Lord, for your touch upon your daughter, Juanita Bennett, who is recovering from liver surgery tonight. Yes, Lord, encourage her heart and strengthen her faith. Remember Aunt Jean. Oh, God, you are aware of all of the concerns in her heart and life. Remember her. Remember tonight Ryan and Margarita, William and Charmaine and Peter. Lord God, their faces are different even as their names. We pray for your intervention in their lives and situation. Remember Lenisha Newells tonight who is dealing with a stroke. Kathy Ann Williams. Remember, oh God, Nyla Johnson. Remember Nikayla. Remember Patrona Moore. Yes, Lord, you are aware of the situations in their lives. Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will remember tonight Agatha Nanton. Thank you for Sister Agatha. Thank you that tonight she's out of the hospital. Lord, we continue to pray for your touch, your healing touch upon her body. Remember Sister Agatha tonight in the name of Jesus. Remember June not. Everyone agree with me, June not uh, stage four cancer. But we thank you, oh God, that cancer is shrinking. Lord God, I thank you for the praise reports coming in. You are working in Sister June's situation. Encourage her heart and strengthen her faith. And we look forward to the day when she will stand in the congregation and give you praise for what you are doing in her life and situation. Remember Orlando Gooden. Remember Pastor Winston. Tonight he's hospitalized. Remember Rose Boyd. 
dealing with dementia. Remember Sister Maria's mom and daughter. We pray, Father, for your touch in their lives and situations. Remember Pam and situations around. Remember Sister Rosalind Wilson. Tonight there is pain, there is pain in her legs. We rebuke that pain in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight we thank you for uh, Eugene. We, read, we thank you for Tamiko. We thank you for brother and sister Lucas. Remember the Lucas family of God. Yes, Lord, thank you for bringing him, to, for, for meeting his every need and for bringing him through. Remember Margarita. Remember the Bentnick family as they deal with the loss of Linda Bentnick. Oh God, comfort and encourage their hearts. Remember Barbara and Alvin George. Remember Sarah tonight, oh God. Comfort her heart as she deals with life and situations. Remember Mike Cassisa dealing with cancer. Lord God, remember the Wiltshire family tonight as they deal with the loss of Frank Wiltshire. Oh, Father, would you comfort the heart of the hearts of the family? You understand tonight how they must read Alvin, Alvin, Anisha, Alicia, Ashanti, and Bertie. Lord, continue to strengthen the family. Continue to bind the family together. Bless the family tonight, even as they deal with the loss of Frank Wilshire. Lord God, tonight, remember Alman, remember our teachers, remember our scholars, remember tonight, oh God, their families. We pray tonight. I want everyone to agree with me over our Sunday school because our children need to be in the house of God where they can be taught the word of God, that their children are a part of Sunday school. Bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, tonight, remember Mr. Lee, our architect. Thank you, O oh God, for helping him as he continues to work on the various uh, uh, projects he has. Recovering. We pray for a speedy recovery. Remember David and Catherine Rice. Remember tonight, the miracle. Oh God, touch the, the, the heart of this young child. Can everyone agree with me? The miracle, that is her name. And Father, we are praying you will direct her heart. We are praying, oh God, you will give her a heart for God, a heart for the things of God. Remember Miracle. Remember Christine Mickle. Remember Mary Bacchus. Remember Sharabia. Remember Carmela Antoine. Lord, there's back pain that she is dealing with, and we pray for your touch upon her body. Yes, Lord, remember your daughter in the name of Jesus. Remember Renee. Remember Sienna. Remember David Cambridge. Remember Desmond Horsford. Oh God, thank you for touching his life and body. Remember tonight to remember Christina. Lord God, remember the situations before them. I commit them into your hand tonight. And we thank you, Lord, for working on their behalf. Remember Muriel Whiteman tonight, Janet Williams, Rita Fernandez, Robin's mother. We pray, oh God, for your touch upon these, your people. Remember them and remember their situations intervene. Remember Audrey Turner dealing with rheumatoid arthritis. Remember tonight the Fordyce family. Father God, I thank you for addressing their every need and situation. Work out every detail. Remember Alan Hogan dealing, oh God, with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, or glaucoma. Remember tonight, Amira. Remember Dr. Bailey, Dr. Kanisha, Dr. Lewis. Bless them and help them, oh God. Father, tonight, I, I thank you for touching Sister Elizabeth. Yes, Lord Powers, thank you for turning that situation around, giving strength to her body. We commit her into your hand. Thank you for Dr. Can. Bless Dr. Can. Remember Marveline tonight. Touch and strengthen her body. Remember Jabari Burrell. Remember Pete Richardson. Remember Henry, Terence, Nicole, Avery. Yes, Lord, meet them at the point of their need. Remember the children, Lord, Tamia, Jada, Colleen, Jeremiah, Calicia, Skylar, uh, S. Watkins. Remember them tonight. Remember Mr. Lutchman. Oh, God, continue to touch and strengthen his body. Remember tonight, Sister Annette. Yes, yeah, Sister Annette Richmond. I ask your blessing upon your daughter. 
Thank you for the Richmond family tonight. We pray, oh God, for your blessing upon them. Use them, oh God, this entire family. Thank you for Brother Godfrey. I pray your continued touch upon his body, strengthen his body. Remember tonight, Joshua, thank you for the anointing, Lord, you have placed upon him. And oh God, I thank you that you're going to use him. We look forward to music coming forth, but Lord, being birthed, original music out of him. We give you praise, Lord, for all that you're doing in his life. Thank you for Quan. Oh God, encourage him, encourage him tonight. Leg amputated, but encourage him. He still has life. Remember, Sister Junie, touch and encourage your daughter. Strengthen her body. And thank you for making her whole. We rebuke the spirit of infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, Sister Pastor Bryant's uh, sister, oh, Sandra, I pray, oh God, your touch upon this daughter. Bless her and help her. Remember tonight, Heavenly Father, Sister Pearl Graham, we commit her into your hand. Bless my dear mother, strengthen her body, and thank you that she's alive tonight. Remember Desiree dealing with a stroke. Remember Sister Nicolette and her daughters. We pray that you will remember her, encourage her heart, and Father, thank you for drawing her with the cords of love. Remember the Glasgow family, Jefferson Glasgow and his, his precious wife, thank you for addressing their every need. Remember Brother Tally, remember Desmond Chase, remember Miriam, Angela, Castello, Edwards, continue of God to bless this daughter and thank you Lord for supplying her every need. Thank you for Sister Betty, touch and strengthen her knees. Oh God, remember tonight, Sister Evelyn, remember Sister DeRoy, remember Sister Beckles, remember Sister Amelia, remember Aidan tonight. Yes, Lord, I pray for your touch upon them, upon their lives, upon their situations. Thank you for turning it around. For Sister Amelia, we pray for victory. The next time she goes to court, we pray for victory. Thank you, oh God, for helping this trial to come forth and addressing the matter in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, tonight, we thank you for Tanya Lovejoy. Touch and heal her back. In the name of Jesus, Sherry Bernard, heal her from stroke. Faustina, heal her, oh God, even from the stroke. In the name of Jesus, remember tonight, Christine Roberts, oh God, heart surgery. Remember Dwayne who hurt his lower back. Remember Paula Bourne, Dawn Carrington, Coletta Jones. Remember Kevin. Remember Sister Victory. Remember Mad Court Batmore dealing with kidney concerns. And remember Mr. Harper also dealing with kidney concerns. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for your intervention in the situations of these, your people. You are the faithful God. You are the keeper of covenant. And we pray, Father, that you will intervene. Remember Antoinette Lorna. Remember Elvina Connors. Remember Sean Anglin. Remember Judith Blackman. Remember Danny dealing with cancer and Lex dealing with cancer. Remember Maurice, prostate cancer. Devon Johnson, cancer. Lloyd Williams, cancer. Leslyn Ross, cancer. Dawn Carrington, cancer. Cancer, Colette, cancer, Giselle, cancer, Avis and Afia, breast cancer, Mary, cancer of the colon and pancreas, Devon, cancer. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the spirit of infirmity and we pray, Heavenly Father, that you will intervene and these, these men and women dealing with cancer, we pray for healing. We pray for healing. We pray for the testimonies to come forth, O oh God, of your healing power at work in their situations. Remember, Sister Merlene Oliver tonight. Lord God, we lift her before you, and we pray that you will encourage her and address her every need. Remember Clyde, dealing with alcohol addiction. Remember Talita, dealing with depression. Remember Veronica Allen, Gary Thomas, Joel Samuel. Remember them, oh God, we pray for your touch upon their bodies and upon their lives. 
Remember the officers of the NYPD. Remember, oh God, the members, the believers of New Hope who serve in the armed forces. We pray that you will guard them and guide them, preserve them and protect them. Remember Officer Wayne tonight. Preserve his life. Remember his family, his wife and children. Keep them, oh God. Remember Sister Gemma. Oh God, I pray a blessing upon your daughter. I pray for her children. Touch the, the daughter with the knee concern. Touch her and heal her body in the name of Jesus. Remember Mercedes Fine and family. Remember Allison Lewis. Remember uh, the Pollard family tonight. Bless Sister Karen and the family. Remember Andrew, Aaron. Remember Brother Sandy tonight. Thank you that he's in the land of the living. I pray, oh God, that you'll touch him and close every open wound in the name of Jesus. Remember Ray, oh God, continue to encourage his heart and thank you for the work you are doing in his life. Remember Christine Roberts. Remember tonight, Brother Monty Roberts. Yes, Lord, as their wife. Remember them, oh God, bless them and strengthen them. Remember Sister Hyacinth Roger. I pray a blessing upon her. Continue, oh God, to strengthen her and guide her in this season. Father, we thank you for Andre Francis seeking a financial breakthrough. Give it to him, oh God. Remember Samuel Julian, Maureen Peters, Sister Maisie Gale, Andrea Lawrence and her dad. Yes, Father, minister to them at the point of their need. Remember tonight that Keisha, Raphael, Julian. Lord, meet her every need tonight. Strengthen her with might in the inner man. Remember Maxwell Jonas, who is blind. Dolores McRae, dealing with a stroke, myrtle, financial and spiritual concerns. Najee Grant, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will intervene on the behalf of, of these, your people. Remember Yehanna and Nair Jetta. Remember Karen Harris. Remember Sister Erlen Bain. I pray, oh God, that you will touch her body and and, and remove the pain in both legs and knees. Remember Pat Daisy. Remember Kay Sean. Remember May Thomas, who has breast cancer. We pray for healing. Remember Sister Silas. Touch her on that bed. Encourage her heart. And may she remember that she has a church that loves her and stands beside her. Remember Stafford Solomon blindness and kidney failure. Remember Andrew and Agnella and, and son. Remember Lillian Spell. Remember Claire McRae. Oh God, touch and strengthen your daughter. Remember Anthony Thompson stroke. Paul Brown diabetes. Remember Amiri Duqua. Oh God, touch the Duqua girls. Remember their mother. Remember Sister Anne-Marie. Encourage them, oh God. And thank you for the great work that you are doing in their lives. We give you praise. And Father, I pray for Kim. Deliver her from depression. Jacqueline Andell, work out every heart problem. Remember Alexandria, back problems. I pray for healing in her back. Remember Mother Brown. Oh God, keep her tonight. We commit her into your hand. Remember Lori, dealing with seizures and diabetes. Remember Lenny and Andrew Dixon. Remember Sister Monica Scott and her sons. Oh God, save these young men. We pray, oh God, you will do a special work in their hearts and in their lives. Remember Rose Lucia dealing with depression. Brenda King, Daphne Paris, dealing with stroke. Remember Sister Doreen, back pain, and her husband. Oh God, work out every detail. Remember Genevieve Brave Sand, her brother dealing with a stroke. Oh God, remember Alijo, brain aneurysm. Remember Sister Ianti Roberts and Brother Junior Roberts. Bless their family. Oh God, encourage them and strengthen them. Remember Stella Jenkins, throat problems. Sandra Prince, cancer. Remember Herbert Belgrave, prostate cancer and memory concerns. Father, remember tonight, Kurt Barrow, Shamar Blair, Stephen and Claire Blair. Remember Sister Joan Pickett. Father, encourage our heart tonight. Thank you for your daughter. Thank you, oh God. I lift her son. You, you, you know the son and you remember the needs of the son. We commit him into your hand. 
Remember Brother Al Norville. Remember Lynette Lewis. Remember Elsie Jackson. Remember tonight Stephanie. Remember Randolph Samuel dealing with colon cancer. Lydia, who is not able to walk. Veronica Allen, kidney problems and bed ridden. Oh, God, intervene in the lives and situations of your people. Remember Linda Pompey. Remember Reverend David Butler, heart problems. Marilyn Ryan, problems with the left leg. Remember Nicole Mitchell. We pray for healing in Nicole's life. Remember Malik Morris, kidney concerns. Remember, oh God, Loretta and Jerome King. I pray, oh God, that you'll touch and meet them at the point of their need. Remember tonight, Horace Knight, high blood pressure and a blocked artery. Oh God, spirit of infirmity, we command you to go. Remember Bridget Scott, oh God. Yes, thank you for removing the mass in her stomach. Thank you for remembering Sheila Paul tonight and healing her of arthritis in the hips. Thank you for Brother Hawker. Continue to encourage and strengthen him. Oh God, remember Claire Miller. Touch her heart, strengthen her heart. Nassim King, pain and defeat. Thank you for Joanne James. Oh God, encourage her. And we pray that come September, you will put her in the right school. Father, we surrender her to you tonight. Remember Sister Katie and Miller. Thank you for your daughter. Oh God, continue to strengthen and guide her. Bless her and her daughter and their family. Thank you for Sister Vivian. Bless her and strengthen her. Remember Karen Innes tonight. Oh God, thank you for Karen. Thank you for Sister Maxine. Thank you for Sandra. I pray, oh God, your blessing upon the Innes family. Remember Marvin Ben. Remember tonight, Sister Leslin. Lord, I pray your blessing upon your daughter. Thank you for supplying her every need. I pray for the Igbeo family. Remember Sister Lauren tonight. I pray, oh God, you'll bless her on the job. Yes, encourage her heart and strengthen her physically tonight. Remember Brother Igbeo, oh God, and remember the business. Thank you for blessing. Thank you for the children. Bless every child and thank you for supplying their every need. Remember Marvia Carter, deliver her from seizures. Remember Carmelita Castello Edwards, all the way in Georgetown, Guyana. Bless her and strengthen her, oh God. Thank you for working out every detail. Praise God. And Father, remember the children. I pray that your hand will rest upon them. Thank you, Lord God, for doing a new work in the hearts and lives of those children. We give you praise. Father, remember Edmund Hunter. Yes, Lord, remember him. Thank you for Dr. Doffwell. Continue to bless and strengthen and encourage her. Yes, Lord, thank you for working out every detail. We give you thanks for the assistant pastors. Thank you tonight, oh God, for assistant pastor Candy, assistant pastor Courtney. Thank you, Lord God, for minister Tracy, for, for minister Julianne. Thank you for evangelist Donald Young. Thank you for uh, Anthony Bryant and Esther Bryant. Thank you for our assistant pastors. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for Reverend Dr. Sylvani Charles. Uh, yes, Lord, continue to bless and strengthen and keep. Remember them all tonight. Father, we commit them into your hand. Remember their spouses. Remember their children. Oh, God, bless them. And thank you for supplying their every need. Father, we give you praise. Remember Sister Cheryl Williams tonight. Oh God, continue to touch her and strengthen her body. Remember Jabari, heal him from asthma. Remember tonight that Sister Lutus, I pray, oh God, that you will touch and strengthen her. Remember tonight David and Vanessa Greer. Bless them. Cheryl Thomas, seizures, deliver her. Anita Lloyd, Ben Ridden, deliver her. Lorraine, kidney problems, deliver. Joyce Bowers, heart problems, deliver. I thank you for the Johnson family. What a joy it was to go to their home a few Saturdays ago. Bless brother and sister Johnson. And Father, tonight in a special way, we pray that you will touch and encourage sister Johnson. Remember brother Claude, St. Romain, thank you for addressing his every need. Meg Miller, 
Remember her. Remember, deliver her from blood clots. Remember Olga, Sister Olga tonight. Delaney Brown leukemia. Remember Brother Harry. Remember Kendall dealing with the stroke. Remember tonight, oh God, Aunt Joy and Devon Johnson dealing with cancer. Those in the Bronx, Pastor Willett. Uh, remember Sister Ross. Remember Vivek Smith. Uh, remember Omar. Remember Miss Elizabeth uh, dealing with asthma. Remember her children. Remember Diamond. Remember Jackie. Remember Joan dealing with cancer. Remember World Impact International tonight. Uh, the Reverend Dr. Pearl Glasgow and, 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 and Brother Clinton Glasgow, Pastor Clinton Glasgow. Best bless them and help them, oh God. Thank you for supplying their every need. Remember Canarsie, Holiness Tabernacle tonight. We, we lift up Pastor Chouty. Bless your daughter. Strengthen her, oh God. Brother Chouty, thank you for the, the support that he continues to provide. Father, I pray your blessing upon this local congregation, our first daughter congregation, provide a building. Can everyone just agree with me tonight? Agreeing that Canarsie will find a building. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you will remove every obstacle. And I pray that this local church will secure a building in Canarsie. And Lord, for its first daughter, secure a building in Brownsville. Thank you, Father, for what you will do. Remember Sister Pauline. Remember Sister Daniel. Remember Sister Millicent Crawford. Remember Sister Faye. Remember Mother Amsterdam. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for supplying their every need. Lord, in the Cayman Islands, remember those believers who are in need of a touch. Remember the congregation in Coney Island, our campus, Lord. Betty, remember Betty. Remember Marie Lynch. Remember Tiffany Walker. Remember Tavon. Remember uh, Kevin, those online. Remember Sister Olivia Bowen. Bless and strengthen her. Thank you for supplying every need. Remember Sister Dawn Lynch. Thank you for strengthening her and guiding her heart tonight. Remember Sister Amaran Fredericks, Sister Anastasia Daniel Chase. Remember these, your people, oh God. And thank you for working in their lives and situations. Father, tonight I give you praise for Sister Monica Clark Smith. I ask your blessing upon her, even in Barbados. I pray for Sister Hope. Continue to encourage and strengthen her. Thank you, Lord, for being her God. Remember Sister Lynette Lewis. Remember Sister Grace Johnson. Meet and supply their every need tonight. Remember Sister Bonita. Thank you for your daughter. Bless her son. Save her son and grandson. Thank you for the great work you are doing. Remember Sister Avril Powell. I pray a blessing upon Sister Avril. And thank you, Lord, for opening new doors. Yes, Father, we give you praise for all that you're doing tonight. Upon your daughter, continue, O oh God, to strengthen her and guide her. Thank you for the work you're doing. Remember Sister Tony Lynch Mitchell. Thank you, Lord, for remembering her and her dear husband. Bless their family. Thank you for doing a new work in Marquise. Lord, we give you praise for all that you're doing. Thank you for Sister Deborah Malone. Bless and strengthen this intercessor, this one who rises early in the morning to call the names of so many. Thank you for her. Bless her and strengthen her, oh God. And now, Father, remember Sister Ingrid Morgan. I pray your blessing upon your daughter. Continue to guide her and guard her. I pray for the salvation of her entire family. Bless her, we pray. Remember tonight, oh God, Sister Claire Graham Benjamin, all the way in Trinidad. Bless your daughter. Thank you for supplying her every need. Remember Sister Alexis Lewis and her husband, Percy, and their entire family. Bless the family. Strengthen the family. And even as your daughter is at work tonight, I pray for grace and I pray for strength. Oh, Father, thank you for supplying her every need. Remember Brother Roland, who just got baptized. Remember his dear wife. Continue to bless their family and their children. Bless them, Lord. 
Thank you for Sister Primus. Continue to strengthen our Sunday school superintendent. Continue to bless her and keep her. Remember Sister Diana Charles LaForce. Bless her and help her. Thank you for strengthening and guiding her. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Remember Caris Lane. I pray your blessing upon Caris. Thank you for the plans you have for her. Praise God. Plans to prosper her and to bring her to a desired end. Father, we give you praise tonight. Thank you, oh God, for the Glasgow Flat family. Thank you, oh God, for the Asian family. And I pray that in this season, you will continue to lead and guide and direct their hearts. Thank you tonight to Sister Shereen, chosen by God. Yes, Lord, bless her. And thank you for supplying every need. Remember the children. Every need, we pray, will be supplied. Remember Sister Shelley Marit McCray, Josiah, bless this daughter. And thank you for opening new doors. Yes, Lord, your hand is upon her for good. We give you praise. Remember Sister Lewis tonight, bless and strengthen your daughter. Thank you tonight, oh God, for Sister Rosalind Wilson. Bless her and help her. And thank you for meeting her every need. You are blessed, Sister Rosalind. We give God praise for you. Father, tonight we give you praise for Sister Sherry. And I pray, oh God, that your hand will rest mightily upon her life. Continue, oh God, the work of drawing her even closer to yourself. We know that there's a plan and a purpose for her life. Remember, Sister Colette Melville, bless her and strengthen her. Thank you, oh God, for working in her and working with her. Thank you for Sister Delosia Edmondson. I pray your blessing upon your daughter. Bless her business. Thank you for increase. Thank you for supernatural and exponential increase. Thank you, oh God, for doing a new thing. Remember Vic Tess. I pray your blessing, oh God, upon the family. Thank you for leading and guiding and directing the family. Lord, we give you praise. Remember Sister Sister Nicole Johnson, bless her and help her. Remember Sister Elnet, oh God, you're doing a new thing. And thank you for the new thing. You have not forgotten her. You know her name. Thank you, Lord, for how you have led her through these many situations and along these many years. Thank you, oh God, for working it out. Remember Anne Sue, I ask your blessing upon Sister Anne. Continue to guide her. Remember Sister Olga, Marishka. I pray your blessing upon Sister Olga. Thank you for remembering the children. Lord, you have promised that not only will we as individuals have salvation, but our families. I thank you for opening a new door for Evangelist Young. Thank you, Lord, for working out every detail. Thank you for doing it. She is positioned to be blessed. Remember, Sister Shernette Foster, continue, Lord, to work in her life. Remember the family, remember the children, and thank you, Lord, for supplying every need. We give you praise. Remember, Sister Sasha Francis, I ask your blessing upon her. Thank you, O oh God, for working out every detail in her life. We give you praise. Friends, we give him praise. I said we give him praise tonight. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the lamb that was slain. And so, Father, tonight we give you praise for everyone that's online. Thank you for Winsome Rayson. Thank you for addressing his every need tonight. Father God, we thank you. Oh, God, for the Clark family. Remember, Brother Jasper, thank you for streetwear. I ask your blessing upon it. Oh, God, thank you for doing a new thing. Remember, Sister Chernell, Lord, even as they celebrated 25 years of marriage, thank you for keeping and blessing their marriage. And we pray, oh, God, that you will continue to keep your hand upon the entire family. Remember, Amara. Remember, Josiah, bless the family. Thank you for addressing every need in the family. You have blessed them and kept them. Tonight, we commit them into your hand. And so, Father, tonight, we give you praise for the great work you're doing in hearts and lives. Thank you for being our strength. Thank you for being our God. Thank you tonight for Sister Cheryl Raphael. 
I pray your continued blessing upon this daughter. And I hear promotion. I hear promotion. Thank you for lifting the her up. Thank you for remembering the family. Thank you for turning the situation around. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, remember Sister Rosalind Dwyer. I pray your blessing upon your daughter. Thank you, Lord, for meeting every need. Thank you for being her strength and her God. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you for this, this, this convocation. Thank you for the prayers that are being answered. Thank you for the walls that are falling. Oh, praise be to God. I see walls falling. I see doors opening. I see believers being strengthened. I see believers walking in new in new directions. Yes, God is doing a new thing, and it shall spring forth. Father, we give you praise. We worship and exalt you tonight. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for Sister Grace. I pray a blessing upon Sister Grace. Continue, oh God, to strengthen her and keep her. Thank you for Sister Lucretia tonight. Thank you that your hand of mercy is upon her. Yes, Lord. And you are ordering her household. Bless your daughter in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for Sister Irma Anderson. Oh, God, this intercessor that arises early. And not only is she praying at 5, but at 12 and at 7. Lord, we thank you for her faithfulness. Continue to bless and strengthen her. Thank you tonight for Sister Mary Rice. Continue to bless and strengthen your daughter. Thank you, oh God, for the gift of intercession that you have given her. Thank you, Lord, for her labor of love in the Lord. Remember Mother Cox tonight. We thank you for this mother in, in the gospel. Thank you for touching and strengthening her body tonight. You are God, and beside you, there is none other. Father, tonight I pray your continued blessing upon Sister Lynn. Yes, remember her. And Ray Lynn, remember her daughter. Remember, oh God, the children of these precious intercessors. Remember Rosalind tonight. I pray for healing in her body. Thank you, Lord, for demonstrating your power. I lift Sister Maisie Gale. I ask your blessing upon Sister Maisie. Thank you, Lord, for the great work you are doing in Sister Maisie's heart and life. I lift Sister Molly, oh God, and Pastor Courtney. Thank you for remembering them and their business. And I pray, oh God, your blessing upon their business in Guyana. Father, tonight I thank you for Latricia Potter dealing with depression, deliver her. In the name of Jesus, Darwin Miller, severe depression, deliver him in the name of Jesus. Remember believers in New Jersey, the Johnson family, Helen Blake, who was in a diabetic coma and has COVID, deliver Helen Blake tonight. Alexis Clement, who is in Patterson, New Jersey, oh God, deliver this son, Christina Skeet and her children, Georgia, dealing with stage four pancreatic cancer. Lord, deliver Georgia. Father, remember those in Atlanta tonight, Joy, Rache, and Rollins. Oh, God, I thank you that you are more than able to deliver. Remember Jeanette Dees, stage four kidney disease, Grace Broadbelt, Ingrid Benjamin, Jackie McWilliams, Christopher Gates, Karen Douglas, Betty Callender, Anthony Gale, Harriet Hines, Merle Clark, Cecil Clark, Marianne Flynn, Peggy Osage, Sandra Lattimore, Gloria Gittins. Lord, I lift them before you. You are fully aware of their needs tonight, and we pray for your intervention in their lives and situations. Deliver them, oh God. Deliver them from their various ailments. Remember now, Pastor Pedro Bandres, all the way in Argentina. We pray, oh God, that you will touch him. Remember him. Encourage him. Remember his congregation. Remember his family. Thank you, Father, for your intervention in their lives. And now, Father, we lift Canada. Remember Hernandez dealing with mental health issues. 
Remember Denise Hawker dealing with diabetes. Hilbert, cancer. Remember Tony, cancer tonight. Remember those in Florida. Julia Smith, head, lung, and back cancer. Oh my God, deliver him in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember Reverend Manuel and Isabel Martinez and Jose Martinez, deliver them, oh God. Remember Jean dealing with mental issues. Remember Marilyn Cox, multiple sclerosis. Remember Sheila, cancer. Remember those in Michigan, tonight, stage one, Lou Gehrig's disease. Remember those in Maryland, Tyrell and, and Denise, meet them at the point of their need. Remember those in Germany tonight, Keishon, Malcolm, and the 160th. Lord God, remember those in Guatemala, Sandra Stark, Eduardo Polio. Remember those in Grenada tonight, Doriel, Gabriel, Shermaine, Samuel, Alika, Lena Gray, Otilia Blackman, Daryl, Gabriel, Growth Under the Arm, Vera and Gerald, Gloria Jones, Marissa Lett, Danny Williams, oh God, remember them and supply their every need. Remember Antigua, Pastor Garfield and Charlotte Samuels. Remember Barbados, Olivia, Ronald Best, Tiani Sam, Antoinette, Julian Wilson, Miss Alda, Roy and Randall, Vita, Irma, for supply their every need. And I remember Belize, Tyrone, Kenyon. Rochelle, Marisha, Robert, Alma. Thank you, Lord, for supplying their every need tonight. Remember Ecuador, the fair, Zuni. Remember Guyana, Candace. Candace is dealing with germ cell tumors. I want to ask everyone to agree with me tonight for Candace. Oh, God, I pray for your intervention. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will turn this problem around. This germ cell tumor. Oh, God, deliver Candace from this. We pray tonight that this, that the progress of this disease will cease and desist. And Father God, I thank you for intervening. Remember tonight. My God. Junior Seaton. Look, see Jupiter. Joy feels. Remember Candace again, Lord. Ovarian cancer. Oh God. Deliver this young lady. Deliver this young lady. Not even 30. And having to deal with these major illnesses. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we ask for your intervention. I pray that the progress of these diseases will cease. We pray in faith tonight that you will turn this ovarian cancer and this germ cell tumor. Lord, turn it out of her body. Get it out of her body. And may you raise her up, O oh God, and cause everyone around her to wonder and marvel at the mighty work of God. Thank you for intervening. Remember Pam, remember Nandi, remember Sheila, remember Winsome, remember Denton, dealing with colon cancer. And now remember those in Honduras. We pray for Orin, we pray Oh God, Aaron McNeil dealing with Parkinson's. Remember those in Holland. Remember Clemmy, Anna. Remember Pastor Stan, Stan Eve. Thank you for intervening. Remember Jamaica tonight. Conrad Hurt, Paul, Blair, Sydney, Peter, Kimberly, Dwight, Delroy, Keron, Neville. Thank you for intervening in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember St. Martin, Coletta Jones. Remember St. Thomas, Alicia King. Remember Tortola, Janice King. Remember Tobago, Bridget London. Remember Tonga, Richard. Thank you, Father, for intervening in his situation. Remember the island of Trinidad. I pray for Denise Trotman, 
I pray for Vasti. I pray for Shirley. I pray for Agnes Seaport. Thank you, O oh God, for Sister Rhonda's mother, Sister Agnes. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for your intervention in her life and in her body and in her situation. Remember, O oh God, Sister Rhonda tonight and her husband, Claremont, and their son, Joshua. We pray for your blessing upon the family. Thank you for remembering the family and thank you for working in the family. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Herbert Daniel, Ursula Riberio, Salome Gordon. Remember Sister Martha Richards. Remember her husband, Henry. Remember their family. Remember her mother. Thank you, Lord, for your intervention. Tonight, we thank you for Reverend Mitchell and Sister Zilla Mitchell. Continue to bless the Mitchell family. Remember the children tonight. Bless them and help them, oh God. Remember Robert Gilford. Remember Heidi. Remember Sherlock. Remember Helena tonight. Helena McWilliams. Bless this mother and grandmother and great grandmother. And Lord, I pray your continued blessing upon her. Remember St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Remember Vincent and Patsy Walker. Adolphus. Remember Fitzroy. Remember Norman Delpesh. Oh God, deliver him. Remember tonight uh, Winston Oliveira. Oh God, touch and strengthen his body and we come against sickness in his body. Remember Ellen Samuel. Remember Randolph Samuel. Remember Anne Marie Charles, Sonny Charles. Remember Eileen Jacobs. Remember Jaheen Primus. Remember Claudette Mitchell. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for your continued touch upon these, your people. Remember uh, Colette Chin in Europe. Remember Anne and Pete and Tony Francis in London. Remember Dana Lucas tonight. I pray for your continued touch upon your daughter. Touch and strengthen her body. Remember Onetta Calendar. Oh, we give you praise. Remember Demani Carter. Remember the entire Carter family. Remember Javon Carter, Kishanti Carter, Shikarni Carter, Dawn Carter, the entire Carter family in London. Thank you for intervening. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, remember Pennsylvania, Audrey Turner, rheumatoid arthritis. Remember Genesis, remember Tara Rosa. Remember David Morrison. Remember tonight Heidi and Kelly. Remember Steve and Keith and Tom and Zion. Remember tonight Viola and Vanessa and Juliet. Remember Madeline dealing with cervical cancer and Anne Emery cancer. Vera Sinclair, Glenn Taylor. Remember Pastor Taylor. Remember Pastor Tim. Remember, remember Sharman Deltry liver cancer. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will turn these situations around for your honor and your glory. I pray for healing to break forth. Let healing break forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember Marilyn tonight. Remember Latoya St. Romaine. Oh God, remember this daughter and her mother, Dawn. I pray for healing. Oh, uh, Stephenson, Lance Stephenson Jr., remember him. Remember Harold Scott, hospitalized. Oh God, we pray for you. Remember them, oh God. All of their situations, we surrender in Nebraska. Jocelyn Arnold and Kiyomi Olena. Remember Troy, Maria, and Quinn. Remember Virginia, Belkis de Mirillo, Winston Richards. Remember my daughter tonight, Father. Amara, continue to bless and strengthen her. And I pray that you will touch her body, strengthen her body in the name of Jesus. You are aware of the assignment, Lord, the assignments. Bless her and keep her. Remember Amira tonight. I pray your blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember Anthony tonight. Thank you, O oh God, for what you are doing. Thank you for your plan. Pray for an increase. I expect son recovering at home. Remember Manuel Montessa. Remember Ross and Tika. Remember Marcus tonight. Bless them and help them. Remember the Hicks family, the Wise family. Remember Hudson. Remember the Ormond family. And I pray tonight. Can I, can I ask you to agree with me 
for the Orman family. This is a family in North Carolina, and this family is in turmoil. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your peace rest upon the Orman family. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for turning their situation around. And what the devil has meant for evil, we pray, Lord, that you will turn it around for good. Remember the Orman family. Remember Jacqueline. Remember Brenda. Thank you for healing her from cancer. Remember uh, Pastor Charlie and his wife and congregation. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, bless Denton Wesleyan and bless Pastor Charlie and his wife and daughter and son in ministry. Remember Andrew and Lexi. And Lord God, what a joy it is to support them monthly. Bless them, O oh God, as they take the gospel to the people in Cambodia. And now, Lord, remember Ohio. I pray for Slade. Thank you, O oh God, for touching him. Thank you, O oh God, for, for delivering him, even from dyslexia. Remember him tonight. Remember Cynthia. Thank you, O oh God, for touching the speech of this young woman who wanted to bring forth a child and in the taking of the fertility drugs has lost the ability to speak clearly. Remember Taffy hospitalized. Remember Dorothy Greer. Remember tonight Mary. Remember Christine Dorsey. Christy Dorsey dealing with a stroke. Thank you for touching and healing Mother Cox. Remember her son and grandson. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing prayer for Danielle, for, for touching Christina Rice, uh, Errol Ellis. Uh, thank you for remembering Pastor Dorsey and bringing him through and continue to encourage Odessa Worthy. I uh, pray for the removal of pain in the hip and leg. Remember Tawana Worthy, Lord God, as she seeks your direction, continue to lead and direct her heart. Remember Donald Worthy. We pray for just, justice on retirement disability. Remember Darlene Worthy. We pray for a miracle in her body and her mental well-being. Remember Brandon and Tracy Worthy. We pray for their marriage. Bless their marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember Texas tonight. Tricia, Hazel, Judy, Glenford, Claude, Carl, Juliet. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing them through the ward. Remember him tonight. Remember his dear wife, Sister Karen. Oh, God, remember their daughter, Sister Carenza. Bless the family. Thank you for supplying every need in the family. Remember San Diego tonight, Pastor Victor Rivera. Bless and strengthen him. Remember South Carolina, Daryl. Oh, God, thank you for working everything out. Thank you for Pastor Matthew tonight. Thank you, O oh God, for hearing and answering prayer. We pray that you, he will have a job closer to his church. Can we just agree tonight, everybody? I want you to agree with me for Pastor Matthew, that God will open the door for Pastor Matthew to have a job closer to his church. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are the God who takes note of every detail in our lives. So much so that one has asked the question, what is man that thou art mindful? Thank you for being mindful of us. And we pray tonight for Pastor Matthew in it that there is no limit. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing. Remember the new battle. Remember Jober, remember Pastor Mercedes, remember tonight Pastor Maria and husband, Pastor Joel. Remember the Barrios, oh myth, oh God, praying for head and lung healing. Remember Pastor John Rose, oh God, thank you for our contact in Venezuela. Continue to bless and strengthen your son in the mighty name of Jesus. And so Father, tonight we say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for helping us uh, with these many pages and these many names. And Lord, we pray by faith tonight uh, that your hand will continue to work mightily on behalf of your church. Uh, thank you, Lord God.
for the good plans you have for us. Strengthen tonight, Brother Ward, and Sister Karen, and Sister Ferenza. Thank you for Sister Pauline McCavin. I ask a continued blessing upon your daughter, Sister Wesley Pilgrim. Oh, Father, bless and strengthen your daughter. I pray for her children and even grandchildren. Thank you, Lord God, for Angela Beckles Innes. Continue to bless and strengthen your daughter. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that you are doing on the behalf of your people. Mightily, on the behalf of your church, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we seal this prayer tonight. We seal this turn will never fail. Heaven and earth will pass, but the word of He is their strength. Verse 39, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Let the church say amen. The salvation of the righteous. Can I say tonight, the body, God will make a way. The Bible says the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. God will make a way for you. Can somebody say amen? I said God will make a way for our children. Can somebody say amen? For your financial needs, God will make a way. Sister Rosie Edwards, Sister Marsha, God will make a way. Father, thank you tonight for making a way for your people. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. My friends, he will make a way for me. For each new day, God will make a way. Oh, praise God. I said praise God. I said praise God. God will make a way. Let the church shout amen. I said, shout, amen, go away. And this is what he's been doing over and over and over again for the believers of New Hope. My friends, he has been making a way. Sister Cheryl Raphael, God will make a way. Sister Judy Bartlett, God will make a way. Come on, somebody. Sister Wesley, God will make a way. Sister Bain, God will make a way. Amara, I prayed for you earlier. God will make a way. Oh, praise be to God. Minister Tracy, he will make a way. Sister Maxine, he will make a way. Sister Roslyn, he will make a way. Sister Avalon, he will make a way. Hear the word of God. The word of God declares, but the salvation of the righteous. How many of you know God will make a way for the righteous? Sister Nicole Johnson, God will make a way. Sister Grace Johnson, God will make a way. Sister Ann Davis, God will make a way. Pastor Candy Roberts, God will make a way. Praise be to God. God will make. Sister Cheryl Williams, God will make a way. I want to say tonight he has made a way. I want to say tonight that he is the way. Come on, somebody. And the light. No man gets to the Father except through me. Sister Maisie Gale, Sister Jaleth Gale, God will make a way. And the church says, peace be to God. I want to share a testimony with you tonight. This day nicely. Uh, Sister Judy Jones was online a few weeks ago. Pray for her. And friends, listen, listen to this testimony. Hi, Pastor Graham. This is Sister Judy Joe. God has been providing healing miracles in my life. On April the 1st, April to that the PET scan film, the, the PET scan film images showed no evidence of cancer. She also informed me that I am in remission. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Do you know how many people quit when they hear they have cancer? Do you know how many people give up? Hear me tonight. You never give up. I said never give up. 
Sister Zilla Mitchell, it's not over until God says it's over. Amen, Sister Shanti? It's not over until God says it's over. You never give up. You never quit. Amen? You never quit. You all know, my friends, quitters never win. And winners never quit. And God did not make you to be a quitter. Do not give up. Don't give up on your marriage. I said, do never give up. Don't give up on your hope. The Bible says we are not to lose our hope. Don't lose it. Hold it. Amen. Hold on to Jesus. Because hope is not an attitude. Hope is a person. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. All right, let's get to the word. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Come on, praise be to God. Praise be to God. There is such a precious anointing in this place tonight. I'm able to share these testimonies. Sister Hyacinth, I was looking for you all night. Glad you're on, my dear. Praise be to God. All right. So tonight, we are continuing to talk about the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the third person of the Trinity, the one who is co-equal and co-eternal with God the Father and God the Son. He is God the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 8, everybody. Turn with me to Romans chapter 8, and I'm reading verses 26 and verses 20. Romans chapter 8, 26. Help us. Our infirmities. The Holy Spirit helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit, praise God, but the Spirit itself, Jesus, we pray, and everybody says, the Bible here. I love why I love the Word of God. The word of God informs, informs. There are many things we would never know about and every one other types. I have done a study on the various spirit helpeth our infirmities. Let me see. That's why I was resting. God word, praise be. Our journey might not be the same. What God has called me to do, my friends, he might do it differently in your life, but there is something for you to do. Put your hand on your chest and say, there is something for me to do. Let the church say amen. You better believe it tonight. There is something for you to do. You were not just created to sit on the pew and to look on and say, oh my, well, 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 look at Minister Tracy. Oh my, look, look at Sister, uh, Sister Sandra Ennis. Oh my, look at Sister Karen. Listen, you were not just created to sit. No, you're going to sit and learn. You're going to sit and receive. You're going to sit and hear. But then, my friends, God is going to bring you to that place where he shows you, Sister Michelle Ennis, there is something for you to do in the kingdom. Sister Dawn Lynch, there is something for you to do in the kingdom. Are you hearing me tonight? Come on, man. I'm saying, Sister Tony Lynch Mitchell, there is something for you to do in the kingdom for each and every one of us. It's not just about sitting and looking on. It is not just about sitting and saying, well, Sister Judy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheer them on. No, 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 no. There is something for you to do. Amen, somebody. And God is going to work through the Holy Spirit. Hear the word of God. Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. The Spirit helpeth our infirmities. Some of you, let me tell you something. You'll draw people through your, your hospitality. I said, through your hospitality, when people come to the church, you're going to be there to welcome them. You have a warm smile. When you smile, it invites people in. God wants you to smile. 
Praise be to God. You welcome them. You greet them. You say thank you for coming today. God has a special blessing. Are you feeling me tonight? Are you hearing me tonight? I am saying, Sister Hyacinth Pierre, there is a contribution for you to make. Sister Deb Malone, you know me hope that there are believers, a body calling your name, praying for your family, praying for your children, praying for your success, praying that God will bring you through. You see, my friends, it just doesn't happen. Things just don't happen. My fear are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. To the there are some strong men and strongholds that God has to break, and God will break them as we look to him in prayer. Move, And that is what God wants to do. Let me tell you tonight. The hour is late. The hour is late. It's late in the game. It's late in the day. And verse 4. Greater is Christ in you than all the forces of darkness around you. We are surrounded by darkness. I look out my window. I'm in my dining room. And I look out to my right. There is darkness. But I tell you what, I got something for the darkness. There's a light. There's some light side. But in the life to come, the Bible says there's none of that. In Christ, neither Jew nor Greek. You hear what the word says? So please understand. We know the Jew is special to God because God said it. God told Abraham, those that bless you, I will bless. Those that curse you, I will curse. Don't curse the Jew. You curse yourself. But in the Bible says in Christ, there's neither Jew nor Greek. In Christ, my friends, we are all on equal footing. Amen, somebody. So please don't despise yourself. Don't despise your color. Don't allow anyone to make you feel inferior. You are blessed and highly favored of God. How can I say that? You say, Pastor, you don't know me. I don't need to know you. If God, the Holy Spirit, dwells in you, it's Romans chapter 8, verse 26. He is going to help your infirmities, your physical infirmities, your physical deficiencies, your physical deficits. And don't count that. Don't count that. You count your blessed one. In every area of deficiency, God is able to help you. That's why God has given you the Holy Spirit. So what am I saying tonight? You are an ambassador for Christ. Do you see yourself as such? When you go to work, you are representing him. Wherever you go, you are representing him. You are an ambassador for Christ. He is depending on you. We cannot live loose lives. No, friends, we can't live like that. No, we cannot just do anything. I have said over and over, if you are going to be effective, you must be selective. If you are going to be selective, it means you cannot allow anything and everything into your inner space. Hear me tonight. God loves you. Somebody confess it. God loves me. Somebody confess it. God loves me. Please understand, you confess that every day. God loves me. And God loves you so much that God's desire is to use you. That's what God will do. I never thought, hear me now, I never thought that God would open Africa. Friends, next year, by the grace of God, there are some mass crusades that I will conduct in Uganda. Some of those in my inner circle, I began to show them some pictures. I said, look, this is what's going to happen next year. We're going to hold mass crusades. Huh. I started to preach to, yeah, to a church of 20,000. 20,000. Hear me tonight. God will take you farther. But if he's going to take your father, you have to allow him to build you. Amen? And he's saying tonight, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. Because sometimes 
You know, we have believers sitting and they don't even realize. Uh, Sister Miriam Angela Costello Edwards, they may not even realize God has a plan for me. God has a plan for me. Now, let me tell you how God works. God works in the body. So we are members of the body. Hear me quickly. I'm closing in a few minutes. Now, some may work as hands. Praise God. We have some believers. They are at church every day. And, and what is their job? To hand. They're handing food. They're handing tracts. You know, some work in the hands. Some work in the feet. Some are going to go. Yes. Some are going to go. Uh, some are going to speak. Yes. Everyone is not going to speak. But some are going to speak. Is that right, Evangelist Young? Some are going to speak. Praise God. Some are going to give. As a matter of fact, everybody can give. Some will give of their time. Some will give of their talent. And all believers will give of their treasure. There is something for each of us to do. And hear me, time is moving quickly. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Look, we are already in the eighth month. In four more months, we'll be singing the Christmas songs. Joy to the world. Huh? Time is moving quickly. What must we do? We must get about the work of God. Amen. It's not just sitting down and listening and singing along. No, it's finding your niche. But some say, but pastor, I have a job. There are people who are in need. God wants to use you. I am in New York, huh? and I'll be preaching in Uganda through social media. I said, look at God. Look at God. Amira, look at God. Friends, there is something for us to do. We could have died in the COVID pandemic. God spared our lives because we are going again. Amen. It's going to be up people and bring them in. There is something for all of us to do. And let me say to you tonight, there is no greater joy than serving God. Sister Mitchell is not what God has called you to do. Remember, we only have a limited time. On Saturday, I have a funeral. On Saturday, people are dying every day. We have a limited amount of time. And let me say this, but and Monday, great time. Thank you, Sister Hyacinth. Praise God. So I want to encourage and invite everybody, please, plan to be at New Hope on Sunday. And the good thing is, if you can't physically get there, because I want to have this sanctuary filled to the overflow in both services. Um, but if you can't physically get there, of course, it's going to be broadcast. But it's a little different, you know. It's, it's really different when you feel, you know, when you're there in person and when you're worshiping otherwise. But if you can't get there, then you worship online. Amen? It's, it's really going to be a special time. I want to thank God for all that he is doing. Friends, this is a time when I believe God wants to mobilize his church so that the harvest will come in. This is harvest time, everybody. This is harvest time. And Jesus said, the harvest is ripe. You can never give of your talent. You can never give of your treasure to God. And God not bless you. My friends, the blessings of God will overtake you. Amen? So you give you give of yourself. You give of your all. And watch and see. Uh, she came to me and she said, Pastor Graham, she said, you know, the first uh, salary that I get in the year that first salary, I give to God. That first salary, she said, I give to God. The first salary she gets, she says, I give to God. And she, she, she began to explain, you have children to go to college. And college is quite expensive. Not sure how this thing is all going to work out. So she gives that first salary. You know what God does? You will never be God giving. God provides a scholarship for the child to go to school. Bring the tithe into the storehouse. Why should we bring the tithe in? Well, because the house has many bills. And for a ministry like New Hope, you understand we are not just limited to one geographic area. Friends, we are literally touching the world. We put on Facebook 
uh, what happened in Venezuela. Pastor John Rose, I said to him, I said, I'm sending you these barrels, but I want you to take pictures of these goods being distributed. And he took the pictures and he sent it. He said, Pastor Graham, look, we're getting ready to send more barrels to Pastor Rose. And not just the islands of the Caribbean, we're touching the continent of Africa. Isn't it nice to partner with a ministry that is touching Africa? We are every Sunday, I'm in Africa, every Sunday, through social media. Amen? Nigeria, Uganda, and friends, I'm trusting God, all of those uh, areas, the Congo and Togo and all of these different places. By the grace of God, we want to go into these places. We want to take new hope in. We want to plant new hope in these places. Amen? So that in time, any believer traveling to Africa, you could connect with a church in one of those areas and say, I want to go to New Hope and have a well-connected um, group of believers that will love on each other. Amen? Yes, friends. And so I trust in God, you know, that God would so help us and so build us that whenever believers are traveling, you connect with me and I direct you to those pastors in those various countries. That's a part of the vision. We're going to build a school in Africa. Somebody say amen. We're going to have an orphanage in Africa. Somebody say amen. New hope. New hope. Praise God. So there are some wonderful things that God is going to do. And he's going to do it as we work together. So I want to encourage you to work along with us. Amen. If you haven't given, I want to encourage you to give. Night for your family. Sow a seed for your family. Amen. Sow a seed for your family. You want your family to progress. You want your family to go forward. You want your, this year must be a better year for your family than other years. Would you agree with me? Would you believe with me? Can God do it? Praise God. Sow a seed tonight for your family. I'm not going to ask you for any amount, but I do want a family worship center. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are touching families for the kingdom of God. So sow a seed. How can you sow a seed? You can sow a seed through Zell. NHFWC 817. God will continue to help our families and strengthen our families. We need strong families. Don't you agree? Someone may say, but I don't have a family yet. You are a part of some family. You are a part. If you don't have a, a nuclear family, you are a part of new hope family. You sow a seed for the family. So I want to ask you tonight to sow a seed. And we're going to believe God together. Sister Amaran, could you put it up for me? Thank you so much. Right. So you they, right. So Sister Amaran, they can send a check. That's fine. But then let's also put up the Zell. Because there are some who are on tonight who may not care to write a check you want to give tonight. And you can give. But sow a seed for that family. And I'm going to pray at the end that God continues to bless the families of everyone online tonight. Amen? I don't only want to go to heaven. No, no, no. I, my, I want my wife right there with me. Amen, somebody? I want my son. I want my daughters right there with me. By grace, by the grace of God, as Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Come on, somebody. So I'm believing God for your family. And now, Father, I want you to agree with me in prayer. And now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we sow a seed tonight for our families. And we are asking and we are believing that you will continue to bless and strengthen our families. I pray tonight for the weak families. I pray tonight for the families that are going through. I pray, oh God, that your grace will be extended to every family tonight. Every family. And Lord, for those families that sow the seed, I pray that you will bring it back to them. Good measure. Press down. Shaken together. And running over. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Bless our families. And the church says, Amen. Amen. And amen. Praise be to God. So for those of you that are going to give by Zell, 
Sister Amara has put up the information. Uh, you can do that. Praise God. NHFWC817 at gmail.com. Plant a seed tonight for your family. Praise God. My wife and I, we celebrated 32 years of marriage. I, I said to her, I said, I, I love you more today than I've done before. And she stood with me during those many years. So, friends, God will bless our families. I said, God is able to bless our families. Come on, somebody. God can bless your family. And you know what? Don't just look at your family in the in the physical eye. Look at them through the spiritual eye. Yes, my friends, there are times there are all kinds of situations happening in the family. But when God's hand is resting on the family, in spite of the challenges, God will help you. To overcome. So you plan to see tonight for your family, and I believe in God that He will continue to bless and strengthen you. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. I could even get to the rest of the verse. Oh my. See, that was just point one. I couldn't even go on because there's just so much to share. But we'll pick it up again. I want to say thanks to everyone that was a part of this service tonight. Was this service a blessing, Sister Sandra Ennis? Oh, praise God. Yes, thank you. 32 years, 32 years. Praise God. We got married in August, and in September, the church started. <laughs> praise be to God. Yes, praise be to God. Yes, 32 years. And God has helped us. Amen. And God has helped us. Praise God. So, friends, God is going to help you. You so see tonight. For your family. Help us take this gospel all around the world. Amen? All around the world. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Yes, praise God. And some of the places I will go first, and uh, yes, and then I'll invite you guys to come along with me. Uh, some of you need to think of, of going to Uganda with me next year. Amen? Yes, think about it. Let me know early so we can plan accordingly. And appropriately, there is much to do for the kingdom. Praise God. Yes. Rain down, oh God. God bless you, everyone. Don't forget to be in church on Sunday. Amen. Don't forget Sunday, guys. Let's come together on Sunday. This is the Patricia Thomas. Sister Pauline, Sister Olivia, Sister Maria, Sister Barbara, praise God and celebrate. Praise God. Amara, God bless you, my daughter. Sister Rosalind, God bless you. Thank you, Sister Lynette. Sister Dwyer, oh, praise God. Oh, he reigns. Let him reign today. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Rain down, Lord. Rain down, rain down. That's my prayer for your family. Oh God, rain, rain upon the families of New Hope. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. I want to celebrate with Brother Jasper and Sister Chernell. They celebrated 25 years uh, yesterday. Amen. And uh, Sister Minister Tracy and Brother Ikanke, they celebrated uh, 17 years on Sunday. Oh, my. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Friends, I tell you, it's a wonderful thing to serve the Lord. All right, everyone. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, so I am going to let you go and get some rest. I know some of you have work tomorrow. And what a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you, Sister Amaranth. What a wonderful night we have enjoyed together. 
I must tell you, I told them this morning, I love Wednesdays. Why? Because I can be with you on a Wednesday. Amen? I love being with you on a Wednesday. So, have a wonderful night, everybody. We're going to turn this off, and you go get some rest. And before you get into bed tonight, I want you to remember Pastor and Sister Graham and their children, Amara, Anthony, and Amira, in prayer. Sister Tracy, 17 years, is that right? Praise God. And this is a wonderful season for the ACM family. We celebrate with them. Come on, Sister Tracy, write something down. Sister Deb Malone, praise God. Praise God, praise God. So, so much to celebrate. So much to celebrate. So much to thank Him for. Oh, my, my, my. And over and over in my mind, <laughs> I hear Him saying, The best is yet to come. Amen, somebody. Can you live like that? The best is yet to come. It's ahead of us. It's ahead of us. After all we do in this world, there is a mansion awaiting you and I. So listen, serve. Serve. Do the best you can. Amen. Sister Mary Rice, do the best you can. Sister Deb Malone, do the best you can. Minister Tracy, do the best you can. Assistant Pastor Candy, do the best. Do the best you can. Give it your best. I'm giving it my best. Praise God. Holy Spirit. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful night. I'm signing off now. Thank you, Lord. Let your power fall. Let your voice come and change as we stand on your word. Oh, good night, Sister Maria. We give him praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Though I had seen, no ear has heard, no mind can know. But thank you, Lord. Open heaven, open the cloud, open the church. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. Sister Elizabeth, how do you feel? Praise God. God bless you, Sister Sue. Oh, we bless you. Such a precious anointing. Let your power go. Good night, Sister Deborah. Have a wonderful night. As we send on your word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Great Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No one has seen. Praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Sister Sasha, God bless you. Sister Mary Rice, God bless you. Oh, 
Oh, be blessed with them. Let your power, let your thoughts come and change as we stand on your way. Thank you, Lord. All right, YouTube, God bless you. Have a wonderful night.